Hello sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. After a hard year that we have all had, I think it's time to treat ourselves and our loved ones. Today's video is all about spa time. For this project I will be using a dollar sign I got during fall. And I absolutely love the shape of the sign, so that is why I'm using it. The first thing I'm going to do is give the back of the sign two coats of white chalk paint by Rust-Oleum, and it's called Linen White. Next, I'm grabbing these poster letters from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to spell out spa time. I like to work from inside going out, so for example, for spa, I started with the P, then I went for the S and the A on the sides, that way I know my word is centered. Next, I'm going to be using some of this buffalo check ribbon and I'm just going to make a simple bow with this ribbon. After cutting the tails on an angle, I'm just going to cinch the edges really quickly for a secure seal. I got this greenery pick from Michaels. It was originally $1.99 and I got it for 70% off. So that's even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I love end of season sales and clearances. All right, so I decided to go off center for this one. I'm just going to put a few of these little sprigs on the left and the longer ones are going to go on the right. Next, I'm just hot gluing our sweet little bow in place, and then I'm grabbing this white string from the Dollar Tree, feeding it through both of those holes, tying it off so we can hang the sign. Today I'm participating in the Fab Five Friend Collab that is hosted by Crafting Cousins every month. For a chance to win the gift card, make sure to watch all of our Fab Five Friend Collab videos and comment on each one. Today we are making three spa recipes. The first one is going to be a rose scented Epsom salt bath soak. The second one is going to be rose bath salts. And the third one is going to be lemon sugar scrub. If you love these recipes and would like to see more, definitely let me know down below because I have a ton of them to share with you guys. And when my website goes on in January, I want to add these on there. If you're interested in getting a free copy of the labels that I made right here, just email me. My email is in the description box below and I can just send them over. At the bottom, I left three empty circles so you can fill in whatever you're going to be making. Each recipe that I made is for a four ounce little jar. You can always multiply the recipe for larger jars. As you can see, I used colored pencils to color in all the little pictures because my printer ink was not working. And then I'm just centering the jar lids, tracing them and cutting them out. For this recipe, we are using three tablespoons of Epsom salt, one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of coconut oil. Next, I'm going to put in two drops of rose oil, two drops of chamomile oil because rose and chamomile go really, really well together. And I'm going to mix everything really, really well. And then I'm just going to chop up some potpourri that I had on hand and I will insert the video how I make the potpourri. I usually like to choose a darker and a lighter rose so it looks really nice in the jar. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of flower petals to the mixture and just putting them in my little jar. Now I'm just grabbing a sweet little dry rose, putting it in the center of my salt and then putting the label on. To finish the jar off, I'm going to take a pink and a natural color jute cord, wrap it around the lid a few times and just tie it off. This recipe is super simple. All you need is equal parts of the Epsom salt, Himalayan sea salt, and flower petals. 
For the four ounce jar, I used two tablespoons of each. I'm just transferring the mixture to my little jar, putting a little dry rose in the middle before I close the lid and put the label on. To decorate, I'm just using this beautiful rose ribbon, wrapping it around the lid and making a little bow. And who doesn't love a good sugar scrub? I have many recipes for different scents and different types of sugar scrubs. So this is the one that I was talking about. Definitely let me know down below if you are interested in different flavors of this recipe. So we're going to start with two tablespoons of coconut oil. Fractionated would be preferred. It's a lot cleaner and better for this type of recipe. Then a half a teaspoon of lemon zest, 10 drops of lemon essential oil, and a quarter teaspoon of vitamin E oil. What vitamin E oil does, it actually acts as a preservative for the recipe. I do keep this jar in the refrigerator. When I give this sugar scrub to someone, I usually tell them to keep it refrigerated and try to use it within a month. To finish off the recipe, we are going to add four tablespoons of sugar or one quarter cup of sugar and mix well. After I put the mixture in the jar, I also like to sprinkle just a little bit of fresh lemon zest on top. Now I'm going to close the jar nice and tight, put the label on and around the lid, I'm going to add a yellow pretty little ribbon and make a bow on the side. I don't know about you guys, but when I take a bath, I love candles. So I decided to make a super quick candle holder. This little candle holder is actually from the Dollar Tree. The glitter is from Walmart. And of course, Mod Podge is from Michael's. And all I'm doing here is just putting a layer of Mod Podge, then putting glitter all over it, then sealing it with Mod Podge over that. And then I know the glitter is not going to go anywhere and I can use this candle holder for a while to come. And that is it for our spa day gift ideas. Don't forget to watch all five videos for the Fab Five Friend collab and make sure to comment on each one of us for a chance to win an Amazon gift card. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!